Lately, the sun has been quiet, but there was a solar flare that hit the Earth's magnetic field uh, just a few days ago, and a little over one hour ago, at 1.15 Pacific Standard Time, the Earth was again hit with a solar flare, a coronal mass ejection. I'm reading now from spaceweather.com. The link is below in the description. CME impact, geomagnetic storm. An interplanetary shockwave, possibly the leading edge of a CME, hit Earth's magnetic field on October 8th at approximately 2015 Universal Time, which is 1.15 Pacific Standard Time, or PDT. The impact has sparked a minor G1-class geomagnetic storm that could intensify in the hours ahead. There's just been a great deal of information. I just want to share this with people that may be finding this video on YouTube. There's a great deal of information as to how solar flares affect human consciousness. And I've been collecting information on this for a couple years now. It's a fascinating subject. Think outside the box of just thinking about the grid or the drill the government's doing about the grid going down. Think outside the box of the grid going down. And I'm not saying that I don't think that that's a possibility. It is a possibility. But it isn't limited to the solar cycle. The next solar cycle, because every 11 years on average, really 9 to 13 years, uh, anywhere between that point in time, uh, we reach the maximum portion of the solar cycle. And we're about to reach the beginning of what NASA believes will be a double peak, late 2013 and sometime in 2015. Now, I don't know how they come up with their calculations and why 2014 isn't really on the map, but uh, they believe that we're going to see two peaks within the solar cycle, late this year and 2015. By the way, uh, the peak in the solar cycle is coming very, very late. And that may mean that we're really, all this time we've seen possibly the quiet before the storm. All the more reason to live off the grid, or the more, all the more reason to um, keep your emotions in check. And there's a lot of things that you can find online if you type in geomagnetic storms and suicide rates. They've done a lot of studies on people killing themselves um, during periods and times where, you know, we're going through a magnetic flux. When you learn that we have magnetite in our brain and our brains are affected by these things, then you realize why people act out, lash out. A lot of them don't really know why. It's important for people to know why, and it's important for people to channel, uh, channel the energy in the proper way, because I do believe the, the sun brings energies that can help us evolve and move forward, but it's, it's going to bring certain emotions to the surface. It will. I think, you know, the sun has a big impact on our heart, Interestingly enough, the heart is the largest source of magnetic, uh, geomagnetic en energy, electromagnetic energy rather, more to feel in the solar flare. It's the greatest source of electromagnetic energy in the body. So it makes complete sense to me why we might feel emotional during periods like this. So today, relax, don't get upset, don't get into any unnecessary arguments, get some exercise. Uh, try not to drink too much. I, I find that people tend to get in fights and want to drink and drug more during geomagnetic storms because we get more energized. We've got that party energy. And uh, I think uh, human beings are a little more sexual. So, you know, I think that for those that are involved in the, the barfly scene, um, I would say those that are out there in the urban wilderness um, tonight, that are uh, on the hunt, as they say, they, they may find themselves more successful than days or nights where the sun is not very active. And again, that's just something that I speculate about. Anyway, this is a very, very interesting topic. Um, and I encourage you to think outside the box of the grid going down and, and really think about how this is affecting you. Not the grid, but you as a person, your emotions. And... Um, by knowing what's going on, you might prevent yourself from being really affected by however strong this incoming geomagnetic storm may happen to be. And it's just going to apparently keep getting stronger throughout the day. And there's, there's, I believe, at least six sunspots that are Earth-facing at this time. So, you know, there may be a very strong correlation 
between events happening down here and it affecting the sun, not just the sun affecting us. There are a lot of people that are <laughs> focused only on chaos right now, and you have a lot of uh, dark institutions and wicked, wicked governments on the planet doing wicked things to the people and trying to incite the people. So, you know, it's very possible that the sun could be a, a responding to that. There have been studies done by Dr. Burl Payne and, and others that, that relate to meditations taking place during periods where there are um, sunspots. Uh, and, and that is very interesting in and of itself how we can potentially affect the sun, not only how we are affected by the sun. Anyways, just some food for thought. Check out the link down below at spaceweather.com and also sign up to not only my newsletter at alexansory.tv. If you haven't already, please do. But you can also sign up to spaceweather.com's newsletter so as soon as there's a major event or a, a geomagnetic storm, you will get that update in your inbox.